Hey guys, RC here. We are back. Football Manager 20, our journeyman climbing the ladder save. We are with FK Carl Scrona, our fifth club. We're in season six. This is episode four with Carl Scrona. And after last episode, we had a 3-1, 3-0 victory. And uh, we drew 2-2 with Helsenberg, Carl Evans, and Pontus Paulson with goals. We actually held Hammerby to a draw, and that was a man down. I was pretty damn impressed with that. Brahma Pajama always seems to play us tough. Richard Stenquist uh, scored his first goal, I believe it was 10 matches. Might have been 12, but I think it's 10. We played a heavily rotated squad. You can see Richard Bjork was in the goal. Uh, you know, a bunch of people you probably recognize, but Elijah Lloyd, Coco, Stenquist, Paulson uh, on the pitch there. Uh, we ended up like, settling for a nil-nil draw and lost on penalties. Uh, we <laughs> I subbed in Kostman late in the game with the third sub when it looked like we might go to penalties, and he actually took the last penalty attempt and missed it and cost us the game bastard no <laughs> uh Gotteberg, we got some revenge three to one martin o michael o'driscoll with a brace and uh matthias dietert with a goal as well carl evans was sent off with a straight red and frederick johansson was sent off as well for them so we held on we're playing north coping on a ray bro today a little bit more transfer news for you today Selenius, yep, Selenius went out, we saw, we saw that one, we loaned out Joseph Olander, uh, Lars Sandstrom went out on loan, Harry Roche goes out for $12,750 uh, left back, started a little, a few games for us uh, a couple of years ago, only two games this year, both off the bench, and I said, yeah, we, you know, they came in on a bid, I don't think I had him transfer listed, but I said, meh, we can uh, make a little bit of money off him. And Lucas Moeller, a young player, went out on loan. And, uh, yeah, we saw Tim Quist last episode. So we're playing well. Uh, Competition-wise, we are still in second. Uh, Hammerby with their match congestion and, you know, their European football. Uh, they've got two games in hand. We're even with them. But they are 13 goals up on us on the goal differential, not to mention the two games in hand. Still have yet to lose a game. Uh, Arebro has only lost two this year, so they're doing really well. Uh, today's match is against North Coping, and then we play Arebro. So some pretty tough matches today. We'll, we'll get a really good idea of how the uh, this tactical stand up. But, I mean, the, the draw against Hammerby... I felt really good about, so we'll see. Uh, we are road underdogs today. Uh, if we hear a whole bunch of noise, I've got uh, I got a leak in my roof, so I had to hire a roofer to come out, and he's doing some repair work up there. So we may hear a little bit of noise from that. O'Driscoll and Paulson up top, Coco and Thompson on the wings, Betts and Gunners in the middle. That's because Evans is suspended with the red card. Lindback and Kaneko on the wings, on the, the back line wings. Aiden is suspended for yellow card acquisition. Dietert, Pallison in the center, center, and Kostman in the net. Standard formation, standard players. I think we will manage okay. You know, a couple of small changes, but, you know, at least it's still guys that we consider to be, yeah, I hear him moving the ladder around. Uh, Nicholas Norgard picks up an early injury for Nor Coping. They're playing a 4-4-2 with defensive backs. All right, we got back on defense there pretty well. Though over the top, Leitonen. Kostman flicks it aside. Good, good save by the keeper. We'll set up a corner kick. So, yeah, you know, like I said, the team's been playing really well in this tactic. Oh, I don't know what the hell that was. He just lumps it out. Fair play. Looks like he tried to do a jumping volley on the backside of the box. Weird. All right, bets. 
Over to Gunners. Gunners has never met a long shot he didn't did didn't not like. Uh, Manor Strail. Uh, he breaks through. He's on a free run. Sends it wide of the mark. I don't know if our keeper gets any credit for that, but uh, we'll give it to him anyway. <clears throat> All right, that's up to Betts. Out to Kuniko. Gunners. All right, he lumps it. O'Driscoll, oh, there we go. Cro oh, crossed in. Paulson gets it deflected, grabs the rebound, and puts it in the net. His sixth of the season. Ooh, that was much harder than it should have been, I think. I tell you what, O'Driscoll looks really, really good. I He's, he's got to be our player of the year. That one goes high. O'Driscoll looks like he sent it over on the header. Let's tell him to get creative. Okay. Pallison, he's going to get an early shower. Hmm. Attacking mid right. Well, I think what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to do this. And then bring Bailey on for him, I suppose. Oh, crap. I don't know why he's not centered. Fair enough. Uh, let's make him a deep lying forward. Just to have that link up with the central mid. Starting to struggle a little bit. I do appreciate the efforts. Some more yellow cards. Gunners is nervous. I think we're going to go a little deeper into the game here. All right. I'm going to go ahead and sub off Thompson for Larson. I believe so. Oh, no. Philip Knutson, his third goal of the season, equalizes things. All right. Uh, let's jump into the tactics here. All right. We're just going to make these guys central defenders. All right. No, not another set piece. All right, Kostman holds on to that one. Strong hands from the keeper. Lumps it out. Oh, Coco, look at that. Nice first touch. Holds it up, and nobody made a run. He was looking for somebody to make a run at the back post. Not a bad idea. And... I don't have another center back. Lloyd. Hello. Yeah, let's bring... Lloyd can play in the center. Let's bring him on for bets. No, I can't have you in front of my monitor. Thank you very much. Can't do that. If I can't see, then I can't record. All right, let's give him some praise. They're overwhelmed. It was not the best shout. Minute or two of passion? Nah. I think we played pretty well. We should have won that game. Uh, you know, the clear-cut chance playing, you know, three-quarters of the game, a man down. Not a really good way to gauge things. Do appreciate the efforts. That's so odd. We're only 11 minutes in and we've already finished the match. I'm like, what the hell? But we still salvaged a draw. We're 10, uh, 10 match unbeaten run. So I would say 10 matches here and I had 20 matches that I had reached on my solo save with this save, with this uh, tactic. I'm thinking this is a pretty strong tactic.
All right, well, we're going to play Arebro. We see them in 18 days. So I will see you. We'll probably schedule a friendly here in the meantime. Let's see, who do we want to schedule, if we can schedule anybody. So here's the match. Let's schedule it here. And if we go away, they'll pay us 33000 and if we go home, let's play Malmo and pick up a $33,000 fee. That certainly, you know, anything we can do to make some money would be helpful. Everybody accepts their fines. Uh, we'll play the friendly off camera, you know, assuming we have that. So I will see you guys here in a few minutes. Well, hopefully this match goes a little bit better. Uh, taking a look, we... Uh, we lost 2-0 to Malmo. Uh, didn't, didn't play our strongest team. Just was trying to get some people match fit. But we are back for Arebro today, who are fourth in the table. We're still second. And we are home favorites. Now, O'Driscoll is suspended for yellow cards. The yellow card he picked up last match. So we're going to have Paulson... Uh, actually, I don't want Stenquist up there. I want Gunners. And then, mid-right, let's put Christian Larson in there. We'll go with that. I think that'll be good. Mm, everybody looks. We do have some match fitness concerns. Carl Evans is going to pick up the captain's armband for today. So we have a captain on the pitch. Put on a better performance than last time. That would be nice. All right, let's get them off with some early passion. Two early shots, both off target. Well, one's off target. The other one must have been saved, but it was not even on target. Let's ask for some creativity. Raybro gets their first shot off. They're playing a 4-4-1-1. Four, four, one, one. All right, Bailey picks up a yellow card. We are um we're struggling here a little bit. Hmm. Larson's not playing great. Well, let's uh let's ask him some early creativity. All right, we got a hi actual highlight. Hopefully it's ours. Karik Kuniko into the box, headed out. Larson and sent over by Lindback. Not the guy you want on the end of that pass to the middle of the box. All right, building it up from the back. There's a nice header down to Betts. Into Evans. Oh, that was poor. Well, knocked away. All right. Again, not the most diligent with the ball. Oh, man. All right, good stop by the defender, but he just stopped the ball and, let, and then overran it and left it for the guy he was covering. Gee whiz. Uh, let's see. Everybody's... You know what? Everybody's doing all right. I'm looking at this side. All right, Ingle Brexton. Oh, good header down. Palson squared into Evans. Evans a through ball to Larson. He cannot beat the keeper. He was looking at that far post. Made the keeper go to ground. All right. Not sure who won that header, but they control it. Oh, off the woodwork. Jump on it. Costuma and those cat-like reflexes. All right, Gunners. Into the box. Back post. Christian Aiden. His first goal. And that's his first goal for the club since joining in the transfer window. Very, very nice set piece. And they go straight into a kickoff highlight. Let's bring on England. 
And if we drop gunners to the mid, we can bring, let's see, do I want Ramek? Yeah, let's give Ramek, uh, Ramek or Stenquist. He's got more pace. Ramek's got, eh, you know what? Let's give Ramek some game time right there. We'll have to wait for that change. Oh, knocked away by Evans. Good job. Laid off to Seeger. Oh, he's taken down hard by Sarum. And that's a straight red on Ingve Sarum. And we are a man up. All right, let's go ahead and pull off um, Bailey, maybe. Yeah, let's put Victor there. Um, do I want Victor in the center? Nine? No, don't think so. Yeah, yeah probably so. Uh, yep. Yeah. All right. Let's get some passion down the stretch. Fire him up. See if we can hold on here. That goes wide of the mark. We got a little lucky there, I think. Oh, they're looking for overlaps now. Good defense by Gunners, but he can't hold it up. Evans then gets there. He controls the ball, gets it out. All right, four minutes of stoppage time. All right, there's a nice ball out into space. Seeger up to England. Laid back to link back, then back. Gunners pulls it back to the midline. Victor out on the wing to Kuniko. There's a header. Harris Ramick, first goal. And that should seal it for us. His first career goal for us. We're up 2 0. A couple of first ever goals for the club in Aiden and Ramick. And that secures three points. We, we actually ended up controlling that game really well. 17-5, to five, just under half on target. Two chances created to none. Got to like that. Uh, we are going to go with a assertive. You played well, but don't get complacent. Taking a look at our inbox. We go to the top of the league. Hello, Everybody, uh, Aiden, 13 headers. So we're going to say your defensive work was top-notch. 11 unbeaten. That is a hell of a run. And we are top of the table, albeit with two games extra. So you know Hammerby's going to come back in with that with no problem. We're sitting even on games with North Coping. Three points up on them. So we're sitting solid for second position. If we take a look at uh, rules, so top four get quali get uh, second qualifying round and get at least two and a half million dollars. Finishing second is a million dollar bonus. It's a it's a half million dollars for each place that we go up. So second would be incredible. But I think anything, I'd say anything six or better is awesome for us. But with the way we've been playing this year, I think we need to finish in the top four and get Euro qualifying because that's going to open up more money, right? That's That's got to be the thing. The only playoff is the relegation. So with that in mind, that, that was a big win. That was a big win. I mean, we got the point with North Coping. They were close and then a win. Those are the teams in third and fourth that we're competing with for Euro, Euro qualifying and, and the big payday. And, I mean, that's – that you know, if we could get $2.5 million, that starts to set us up nice. And that's how Hammerby has so much money and can buy players – because they win the league and they get, you know, the three and a half million dollars plus Euro money. So 
that's that's the goal is to take that step. And that's where we'll start seeing, okay, if we qualify for Euro, does that start to help our reputation as well? I tell you what, let's come back for AIK and we'll do either a two match or three match episode, depending on how things are looking. So it may be a little bit longer episode, but we'll do AIK and Malmo. And then if, if things are in the mix for us to fall out or get back in, then we may watch Kalmar as well. Or we may do AI Kalmar and then do Malmo and the, yeah, as, a, as a season finale. Let's kind of go with that. So we'll we'll be back for AIK. Unless unless things have just unless we've just built up some space by that time, then we'll just come back for the final two games. So we'll uh, please hit the like button, subscribe if you don't mind. Doesn't that badge look like he's wearing a speedo? I just noticed that it just kind of jumped out at me. I was like, that's a speedo badge. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much. See you guys next episode. Bye.